Hello everyone, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today I'm going to be doing 10 cards, one kit with the Simon Says Stamp August 2018 card kit. So we're going to jump in and get started with our first card. Now we're going to do some stamping with this beautiful background stamp that came in the kit this month. It's a beautiful floral. And so I'm grabbing a piece of Canson XL watercolor cardstock. And just using my tape runner, I'm going to adhere that to my stamp platform. Since it is a background stamp, I, w I didn't want the magnets to interfere with my, my stamping. So I'm going to use my anti-static powder tool and go over my cardstock. And then using Versa Marking, I'm going to go over my background stamp and stamp my panel here. Lovely. Now I did go ahead and add clear embossing powder and then using my heat gun I'm just melting it. We're going to do a little bit of ink smishing today using some Distress inks. But I think it's going to create a beautiful background. The Distress inks I'm using are some mini ink cubes. I'm using Tattered Rose, Scattered Straw, and Tea Dye. I thought it would create like a... since the background stamp reminds me of a very vintage kind of uh, wallpaper almost. I thought we could kind of create a little vintage looking card. So I'm just going to do some smushing and boy I'm doing some smushing because I'm just rubbing it in real good. <laughs> but um, any excess that's on there instead of drying it I'm going to just dab it off with my towel here. And it kind of reminds me of real worn, worn wallpaper. But I really love those colors and they did brighten up a little bit to where you can really see the pink. But next I'm going to take a circle die, a larger one, and I'm going to cut out a circle. I wanted one of the sides to have a straight edge, so I'm hanging it over just a bit. And I just ran that through my die cut machine, and I think that's going to be a great background. I love that floral print. Okay, next I have a piece of white cardstock. We're going to do some stamping here. Um, I'm going to stamp the mason jar with the tulips. I love tulips. I love any kind of flowers. Um, once a week, my husband bring me, brings me a fresh bouquet of flowers. So I always have fresh flowers at home, and I, lo I just love that. But I'm going to stamp that, and I'm going to color it in using the same Distress inks that I basically use for my background. I'm going to use Tattered Rose and Tea Dye, or no, I'm sorry, Scattered Straw and Tea Dye for my vase. Just using my water brush, I'm going to paint, paint that. And then for my flowers, I actually used some um, festive berries and tattered rose. But I finished coloring it and I cut it out, fussy cut it out, and then I did stamp my sentiment. My sentiment says, picked with love, and then I have a real small stitched banner die that I die cut my sentiment out with. We're, this is my card base right behind there. It's a four and a quarter by five and a half inch top folding card base. And I'm just gonna add some foam tape behind my circle and place that on my card base. I think that that vintage looking background against the white just made it look so pretty. But I popped up my tulips and then I also added foam tape behind my sentiment. And then um, to give my card a little shimmer I'm going around my mason jar and the tulips with my vintage or my Week of Stella shimmer pen. And I thought it needed just something else. So in the kit this month came some um, little doodlebug hearts. So I'm just going to grab a red one and place that right above my sentiment. And I think that looks great. But I wanted to add more. I kept going back and thinking, well, I'm going to add a couple more. But I just left it at one. I think one is great. But that's card number one. Okay, now moving along to card number two. We're going to do a little bit more stamping. This time I'm grabbing, I'm actually going to um, stamp three of the images in the stamp set. Two of them twice. We're going to start off with the long based um, flower arrangement. I'm going to stamp that twice. For these, I colored in, um, I colored them in with my Copic markers. Now I had to skip the coloring. This month's kit didn't have no um, extra fo uh, focal point. So your entire focal point was the stamp set. So it involved a lot of coloring. And so unfortunately I can leave that in. But um, I used some yellows and blues to color in my images, and then I just fussy cut those out. I thought while I was at it, I had that little extra space on my white cardstock. I'm going to stamp my sentiment there. So I chose the sentiment that says, thank you for everything. 
and I just, like I said, die cut it. Now this one here, I actually fussy cut out all the way to the line and it was a little bit de too detailed. <laughs> so the other two, I left a little bit of a white border. So um, I cut out a panel with the specialty card stock in, that came in this month's kit. It has some beautiful embossing on there. We're gonna go ahead and attach that to our card base. And then that smaller panel there is three inches by four and a quarter. That's where we're going to add our little flowers. Now the one that I fussy cut all the way to the edge, I'm just going to use my glue and glue that directly on that panel. So it almost looks like I just stamped it and colored it on that panel. So that worked out good. <laughs> and then the other two, I'm going to add some foam tape behind there. We're going to remove the release paper and place those on, on that panel. I always love the way the blues and yellows go together. I think it looks so pretty. Okay. Now, eventually we're going to add foam tape there, but I thought I needed just something else. So I actually grabbed some yellow and white Baker's twine from my stash. I'm actually going to wrap it around the base of my card and then um, twice and then I'll tie a bow to the left just to bring in a little bit more of that yellow. We're just going to trim the tails of this and adjust it just a bit and then we'll add some foam tape behind our panel. And then that's going to go in the center. Now I already added foam tape behind my little sentiment uh, pieces. And we'll just put the thank you and then for everything right below it. And that finishes off card number two. Here's a close-up. Okay, we're going to move along to card number three. These here are some scalloped, um, scalloped rectangles. I'm going to take the medium size and then I'm going to take a regular stitched rectangle and place it right in the center. Now when I die cut this out, it's going to create a real pretty scalloped frame. And then I thought to back my frame up, I'm going to use this pattern paper. It has real pretty pinks in there and a little bit of blue. And you can see I already um, colored in and fussy cut out my flower arrangements. I used the tulips in that long based flower. Um, for those, I did use my Copic markers. The panel that's right next to this panel here is four inches by five and a quarter. I'm just going to remove my release paper off of my frame and then place that on my, my background panel. Lovely. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and, and, and tape this down to our card base. Okay, I decided to um, use my tape runner and adhere the tulips directly to my frame. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some foam tape behind um, that, that larger flower there. We'll just place that right on top, kind of overlapping a bit. Okay, now for my sentiment, I did cut out a small banner with one of my dies, and I'm going to stamp the sentiment that says Grown With Love. It fit in there just perfect. I'm going to add a piece of foam tape, and then using my tape runner on the other end, I'm going to adhere that towards the lower portion of my frame. Now the kit did come with some bubblegum blush, um, a trial size of the Nouveau Crystal Drops, and I have the full size bottle, so I did that was that bottle is so cute too, but um, I didn't want to open it. I thought I'll use the one that I had opened, but I'm just going to add a few dots of color here and there in the background, and that finishes off card number three. Now for card number four, this is a stitch. No, what is this? 
a stitch dome frame. There we go. I'm using the yellow pattern paper. We're going to cut out a dome. I'm actually going to cut out a dome with white cardstock also. And then I grabbed the, the scripty printed pattern paper. I'm using a rectangle die that's going to cut out a panel that's four inches by five and a quarter. And I die cut that out. Now I wanted the white background around my dome frame. So I had that extra white dome. I thought I would just layer that yellow pattern paper right on top just to give it a little bit of depth. And then that's where we're going to stamp our sentiment. But I did color in and um, die, or fussy cut out my little flower arrangement. I used the tulips again. I stamped the sentiment that says picked with love. And then I, I did decide to grab the larger sentiment that says for you. I thought it would fit perfectly right inside that dome. So I'm going to ink it up with my VersaFine ink and just stamp that towards the top. Okay, I am going to add foam tape behind my frame. We're going to place that on our scripty pattern paper. And then I'm going to go ahead and Oh, I did add, um, this is my blending tool that I, I probably used, um, fossilized amber. So I'm just using whatever's left over and shading in, um, that, that inside piece for my dome, just to give it a little bit of color. I did pop up my tulips, place that on there and added my sentiment. And then we're going to take the entire panel and place that on the card base. This month's kit came with some twine. And I like the, the, the width of this twine. I wish I could find out if they sell it individual. But I doubled it up and tied a bow. Put it right below my tulips. And that's it for that card. Okay, we're going to move along to card number five. I have a panel here that's three inches by four and a quarter. Now I grab the picket fence that's in the stamp set. I'm going to ink it up with my Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And stamp, stamp that right in the center at the bottom of this panel. Once we have that done, I'm going to grab my Copic markers. I grab some warm grays, um, W00, no, W0, W2, and then also W4. I did leave the coloring in for this. This was pretty easy and it didn't take too much time, but um, I just started with the lightest color, went in with the medium, and then I went around with the darkest, and then I'll finish it off with my, my lightest color again. Now I did color in my floral arrangement. For the pot, I used the same colors I did for my fence. And then I used some real pretty um, reds for my flowers. And then the itty bitty flowers, I used blues. But I'm going to stamp the sentiment that says thank you right in the center. Okay, now for my background, I decided to use some Barely Beige ink from Simon Says Stamp. And I'm going to ink up this entire background. And then my card base is actually in my stamp platform here. So I'm going to um, cover my entire background with that Barely Beige ink. This ink actually came in a previous Simon kit and I love it. It creates almost like a water, a watermark effect, which is wonderful. Um, I popped up my panel with some foam tape and I'm going to place my fence right in the center. And then I added foam tape behind my little floral arrangement, and then that's going to go on the bottom right here. Now, for bells and whistles, I added a few sequins around my sentiment, and then one in the center of the flower. Now, I love that background so much, I thought we were going to do some more stamping with it. But before we do that, I have some double-sided adhesive. I get this from uh, scrapbook.com. It's their brand of uh, double-sided adhesive, and I haven't had any problems with it. So I'm going to trim out... A small square that's going to fit my little chain circle there. This is actually a link chain circle frame from MFT. Love this frame. And I use I place my double-sided uh, tape on my blue cardstock. It's just cardstock that I had in my stash and I die cut out my little frame. Now I took that same blue cardstock and cut out a panel and also a matching size one with white cardstock. Now this, I'm going to take my card base and we're going to do some more stamping with that same background stamp. Um, this is my card base and I'm going to ink it up again with my Barely Beige ink. 
I'm just going to stamp it a couple times so it's some, so you can see it. This is great for no line water coloring, so it's a real subtle ink. But that's my, my card base. And then I'm going to take that white panel we cut out and I'm going to use that same ink. I'm actually going to turn it sideways. And I'm going to stamp my background on this, this one too. And then I thought, well, while we're at it, I'm going to stamp that blue piece also. I love that. I think it's so, so, um, so old fashioned looking. <laughs> I'm going to clean off my stamp and then I'm going to take that blue cardstock, place that on my platform, and then I'm going to go over that with my verse marking. I thought that it would give a real nice watermark effect. So pretty. Okay, now I'm just kind of arranging how I want it to go. And now the white panel on top I'm actually going to trim down. I used my scissors, but I just didn't get it straight, so I thought, oh, I'm going to pull out my paper trimmer, and that way I get a very straight edge. Now I did go ahead and use my tape runner and attach that square to my blue panel, and then I added foam tape behind both of them together. I'm going to go ahead and place that on my card base, and then I'll take my circle frame and I'll just remove the release paper off the back and since th this is so detailed the, um, the double-sided sticky tape really helps out a lot <laughs> but I'm going to place that in my little square and I already colored in my floral arrangement I used the, 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 the shorter pot here I colored it in with some teals and then my flowers, I used some real pretty pinks. But we're just going to add some foam tape behind there and place that right there. Before we do, I wanted to put this the For You sentiment. I forgot my sentiment. <laughs> but I think I, I put a good amount of foam tape on there that it didn't hurt my stamping. Well, that's a, that was a good thing. And so I decided, well, since that worked out good, I'm going to stamp with thanks right underneath it. I'll just ink that up. Both of them are inked up with some VersaFine ink and it stamped beautifully. I got lucky. <laughs> then I went ahead and added my flower pot. Now for a few bells and whistles, I went in with some clear droplets. Just added a few just to keep it real subtle. And that finishes off that card. Okay, moving along to card number seven. I picked out these pattern papers here. I'm going to trim out, trim down a strip of the yellow pattern paper and also a strip of this blue. I'm going to go ahead and adhere my yellow pattern paper to the blue. And then to cover my, my seam there, I'm going to use some of the scripty pattern paper. I'm just going to cut about a half inch strip. And I'm going to go ahead and adhere that. Next I'll take a stitched rectangle die and I'll cut out a panel with all three of them together. That way I have stitching all the way around. Lovely. Okay. Now for this card I already colored in my image. I used some yellows and some, some uh, blue greens I guess. And then I did cut out a circle in my panel in the, in the top. I used a two-inch circle. I'm going to stamp the sentiment that says thank you using my flower pot as a guide. And then I added foam tape behind this one. I'm going to place that directly on my card base. And then I'll go ahead and pop up my flower with some foam tape and place that on there. Now I did grab one of the twine that came in the kit. I'm just going to tie a bow. I didn't double it up this time. And then I'll just 
grab a glue dot. I rolled it up in my hand and then stuck it to the bow. Um, the knot on it was pretty small, so if I rolled it up in a ball, it was it helped out. <laughs> I'm going to add that to my flower pot and trim off the tails. And that completes card number seven. Kind of easy one, but I think it was still so pretty. Okay, now for card number eight. I have a panel here that's three and a half inches by four and three quarters. And I'm going to take this large image with a circle. And I'm going to stamp that towards the top. And one of my leaves um, didn't stamp on the panel all the way, but I didn't. I'm not going to be worried about that because I'm actually going to stamp the same image, and I'm going to die cut out that flower only. To color in this flower, I'm going to use my distress inks. I used the tattered. No, the scattered straw and the tea dye and just using a little bit of the shabby shutters I'm going to color in the leaves with that now I didn't um, for the ring around there I did use my um, what color was that seed no it was I'm not even sure what uh, my picked raspberry I believe to color in my the ring. Now, don't look at that vellum piece because I end up not using it, but I did get a circle die that will fit the inside circle. So when I cut out this panel, I'll have a, a window. It fit perfectly, and I believe it was a two and a half inch circle. But I figured this pattern paper would be pretty in the background. I'm going to stamp the sentiment for this card. It says thank you. It's such a pretty font. And then I decided to grab a piece of black cardstock. And then using one of my scallop border dies, I'm going to cut out a scallop. I'm just going to tape that to the bottom of this panel. And then any excess overhanging, I'll just trim off. And you can see that second flower I fussy cut out. I fussy cut all the way out to the line. That way when I added it back on top of my frame, it would match up perfectly. But I added some foam tape behind the panel and placed that on my card base. And then I'm going to add one more piece of foam tape on my flower, just so everything is nice and um, level. And I'll place my flower right on top of the stamped image that matches. And that's it for that card. Here's a close up. Okay, now we're going to move along to card number nine. This one is super simple, but it, I think it turned out so pretty. Now I colored in my flowers with some yellow Copic markers and my vase with some blues. I used the fishtail banner to cut out the yellow pattern paper. And then I also cut out that white panel is four inches, no, five inches by four and a quarter, four inches, no, my mind went blank, four inches by five and a quarter, there we go, but I just adhered everything, I popped up the vase and then my fishtail banner, and then I did use my tape runner to adhere my scripty pattern paper directly on that panel, we're just going to attach that to our card base, and I went ahead and stamped my sentiment onto black card stock, and then heat embossed it with white embossing powder, this sentiment says, thank you for your kindness. I'm going to pop that up with foam tape as well. Now in the stamp set, there's these three little uh, dot clusters. I'm using some fossilized amber and I'm just going to stamp a few of them around my little flower arrangement just to bring out that yellow. And then that finishes off card number nine. Okay, for card number ten, this one I... I want to do something way different, so I grabbed this striped pattern paper that came with this month's kit, and I'm going to use my background stamp again. I'm going to ink it up with my Versamark ink, and I did go over my pattern paper with my anti-static powder tool. 
I'm going to stamp this image directly on the pattern paper. Once we have that done, I'm going to add some white embossing powder. This is Simon Says Stamp Fine Detail White Embossing Powder. We're going to go over the stamped image really well. And then I'm going to go ahead and melt that embossing powder. And I think this looks really neat. Um, the cameras are kind of not doing it justice, but I think it turned out pretty neat. I because it, it looks like that stripe paper is behind the floral paper. It's just really neat looking. But I cut out my panel. Now this panel here is three and a half inches by four and three quarters. I was going to do a side folding card and change my mind, but I'm going to just go ahead and place that on another panel. And then this panel that I'm putting it on top of is four inches by five and a quarter. Now I did take that same stripe paper, added it to a piece of white cardstock. I'm going to trim off the excess. And then I left a little bit of room to stamp my sentiment. Um, but I'm just going to trim it down just a hair. Just using my paper trimmer here. Here's where I cut off the extra there. Okay. For my sentiment for this card, I chose From My Heart to Yours. I'm going to stamp it towards the right here. And I did add foam tape behind here, and we're going to place that on the bottom. Now, since hearts were involved, I thought about using a piece of vellum, a vellum heart, but it was just too much. So I decided to use the Doodlebug um, heart stickers that came with this month's kit. There were some white ones, so I just created a trail of white hearts all along the center of that stripe pattern paper. And then that finishes off that card. So here's a look at all 10 cards that I made today with the Simon Says Stamp August 2018 card kit. I hope this gives you some different ideas on how to use the kit. I love flowers, so this kit was, was very fun to play with. It took a long time to color, but I, I enjoy coloring, so it was, wasn't too bad. But let me know what you think by leaving me a comment. I love to hear your comments. Thank you so much for all of them. But um, I don't know if the kits are still available. If they are, I'll leave links in the description area. And if you guys want to see close-up pictures, um, I'll leave links to my blog down in the description area too. Sometimes the pictures on my blog are a lot nicer than the ones that you actually see on camera. But have a fantastic day. We will see you again soon. Bye-bye.